Today, we'll use the Espresso Test Recorder to add a UI test to our Android application. In order to start, we need Android Studio 2.2 or higher. Also, we'll want animations disabled on our device, since Espresso doesn't know when animations are running, which can cause unstable tests. You can validate that your animations are disabled by going to Settings, Developer Options, the Drawing section, and then turning off the animation scales. If all three of these properties are all set to animation off, your animations are disabled successfully. Now let's start the Espresso Test Recorder. Do this by going to the Run menu inside of Android Studio and clicking Record Espresso Test. Select the device you want the Espresso Test Recorder to run on and click OK. Watch here on the right side of the screen. There's going to be a dialog that comes up that says waiting for debugger. We didn't start our app in debug mode, but the Espresso test recorder did. The reason why it's running in debug mode is because the Espresso test recorder has breakpoints set throughout the Android platform code. This allows it to identify when user events happen, like clicks, text input, or hitting system buttons. This is how the test recorder works and helps magically generate UI tests for us. Let's enter our username which in this case will be Sam. And watch how the text input events are recorded. As you see, typing in text is very slow. This is because the test recorder is doing its very best, but it has a very high overhead of stepping through the debugger for each system input event, sometimes making it appear like your app is unresponsive. This is normal from my experience, so don't feel like you're doing something wrong. This is hopefully something that will improve with future versions, but we're getting to create espresso tests without writing code, so it's hard to complain much. On the left side of the screen, you will see we have a list of recorded UI events. Each item in this list will have a corresponding espresso action or assertion in the generated code. Let's add an assertion. To do that, click the Add Assertion button. After hitting the button, the test recorder is taking a screenshot of the UI, as well as capturing the hierarchy of UI elements and their properties. This is all the data needed to add assertions on the current UI state. Here we are asserting that the text on the view with an ID of welcome message is equal to the text welcome back Sam Edwards. We can click save assertion to continue recording our test. On this shopping apps homepage, we see a list of categories. And for this test, we'll click on fruits in the recycler view. Espresso's test recorder has noted that we clicked on element at position zero, which technically works, but if we read this test later, we probably wanted to say that we clicked on fruits. Clicking on fruits has taken us to our category activity. Here, we'll select the item Granny Smith Apple and add it to the cart. Now let's go to our cart to make sure we have one item in it. Adding this assertion will be the last step in this test, which covered a large part of our application. While it's great to exercise a lot of your app, I'd recommend smaller tests, such as just the login flow. Espresso Test Recorder still has some bugs that are being worked out, so the smaller your test, the better the chance you will have your test getting recorded correctly, as well as it passing in the future. Click OK to end this recording. Next, you'll have the ability to name your generated test class. I'm going to use their suggestion. Login activity test, so I'll just click OK. Now we get this pop-up saying we are missing Espresso dependencies. This is because our application currently does not have any Espresso tests, and therefore does not have the required dependencies. By clicking Yes, the test recorder will add them automatically for us to our build.gradle file. We see that code for this test has been generated in Login Activity Test in our Android Test source folder. We can run our test by right-clicking on the file in the project view and selecting Run. Running our test through Android Studio will install our application's APK as well as our test APK, which contains the Espresso test. Our test now executes and performs all of the recorded actions and assertions. Our test passed! Espresso Test Recorder is a great way to create your first Espresso test for your app.